Pescoço. Then after you have great coaches, you get great players, you have a great organization, and you tell them one thing, just win, baby. What is good, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Raider Alex, back with yet another video for you guys. The Raiders win their debut performance with interim head coach Antonio Pierce as the Las Vegas Raiders completely dominated on this game on both sides of the football. I was very impressed with the defense, the defensive line. We were getting pressure on the Giants quarterback all night. And most importantly too, this Raiders defense was able to cause turnovers. You were able to get consistent pressure on the quarterback and you know when you can do that that typically will lead to turnovers and that's exactly what happened for the Raiders the Raiders defensive line in this game were able to get eight total sacks in this game alone and I think before this matchup the Raiders had 16 total sacks on the season so just an absolute dominant performance from this defense the offense just looked so much better in the first game without head coach Josh McDaniels. The Raiders at halftime were winning 24 to zero. And the crazy thing is the Raiders were able to put up 24 points on the board. That's more than what the Raiders offense was able to put up in an entire game throughout the first eight weeks under head coach Josh McDaniels in the first game that he's out we were able to put up 24 points in one half alone the Raiders ended up dominating the game 30 to 6 another thing too is the run game we were finally able to get it going Josh Jacobs ran the ball for 26 carries 98 yards and two touchdowns we were able to punch it in the end zone once we got down near the red zone and I guess you could say this is the first official start from Aiden O'Connor and what I mean by that is he was actually granted the starter position over Jimmy Garoppolo versus in the past he only started because our quarterback was hurt at the moment but in his first start under Antonio Pierce look Aiden O'Connell did a good job just being accurate with the football getting the ball where it needed to go Aiden O'Connell went 16 out of 25 for 290 yards zero passing touchdowns but also zero interceptions which is very good to see from your rookie quarterback and to me the one play that really stood out to me was that deep bomb that he hit to Trey Tucker that's really what has been missing from this offense the entire regular season Jimmy Garoppolo has yet been able to hit a pass like that and with the Raiders finally being able to hit those deep shots it really opens up everything for this offense especially with the running game so from a strategic standpoint the Raiders dominated the New York Giants on both sides of the football it also helped that Daniel Jones went out early in the game but regardless if it would have been Daniel Jones or DeVito whoever it was going to be this Raiders defense came and play we just completely outmatched the Giants we were getting relentless pressure on them all day long and really this is a very impressive win by this team it's almost like a statement victory I mean when was the last time the Raiders won a game like this where they just completely dominated the game for four quarters straight typically the Raiders every time they win it's you know those really hard fought back and forth type of games where maybe we go up early and then we let the lead slip away or we have to come back stuff like that the Raiders typically haven't done a very good and consistent job of you know just having these type of performances where we can dominate and just have a victory where we're just not on the edge of our seats late in the fourth quarter but more than anything too just like the energy I felt inside the building in Allegiant Stadium the overall spirit and the energy I saw this team played with you know it's just a huge improvement from what we had with Josh McDaniels, it just really felt like it turned into a very toxic environment. So I gotta give a shout out to Mark Davis once again for making this move. And with the Las Vegas Raiders winning this game, it definitely puts them in an interesting spot because at this point in the season, we're a little bit over halfway through the regular season. We're four and five. So look, this definitely puts us within shooting distance of you know being in the hunt for the AFC to potentially make the playoffs. Now at the end of the day, it is just one game and the New York Giants are 
not a very great football team either so i'm not gonna jump on a limb and say we're gonna do anything crazy like that but i'm just saying you gotta win these type of games the raiders did it they dominated and by winning this type of game i mean you put yourself in a situation to compete moving forward and who knows maybe shock the world and sneak into the playoffs so great job from the raiders tonight and from antonio pierce but what i gotta see from this team is we gotta show that we can put it in back-to-back -back performances because if we play great this game and then next week against the new york jets at home once again if we come out flat and we lose the game then at that point it's just, it's just gonna feel like it's the same old raiders the same old inconsistent las vegas raiders so overall there was definitely a huge improvement let's see what we can do moving forward but raider nation i definitely want to get your guys' feedback on tonight's game what did you guys think of antonio pierce as the interim head coach in his first game what did you think of the raiders team just in general let me know in the comment section down below with that being said raider nation that's all for you guys in today's video anybody that's new to the channel and you guys love raider related content just like this make sure to like comment subscribe with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one